How's it going everyone, Boone here. On today's episode of Monday Maps, I'm gonna take a closer look at an After Effects template called 73 Maps and Geo Icons. Now you can get this product at Motion Array. This is a really cool company that sells a plethora of templates for both After Effects, Premiere Pro, as well as a handful of other software applications. They also sell royalty-free stock footage, music, sound effects, as well as presets. But the really great thing about this company is they charge a flat monthly subscription fee. And this gives you access to their entire library. It's unlimited downloads. If you want to check out more, just follow my affiliate link that's in the video description. You can actually set up a free account on Motion Array, and that's going to give you access to a number of free elements as well. Okay, enough of that. Let's take a closer look at this template. And naturally, I can download this template straight from Motion Array's website. There's a bunch of information here. I have the video preview of the product. Here's the download button. It shows me the size. It shows me what versions of After Effects this is compatible with, the resolution. And it's telling me that it doesn't require any plugins to use this. But let me show you a much faster way. Here inside of Adobe After Effects, I've installed that Motion Array extension or the plugin. I'll leave a link in the video description that will take you to the free download. Now you don't need a premium account to use this. This is gonna give you access to all of the free assets as well. So I'm gonna to go to Window Extensions and select Motion Array. And here I log in here via the panel. And once I'm logged in, it's gonna give me this search bar and it's gonna show me all the assets in the library. And even if I have a free account, it's still gonna show me all the premium assets. I just won't be able to download them. Now I can filter these out. If I wanna select just After Effects templates, I can do that, but I'm just gonna leave it set to everything and I'm gonna type in maps and see what we got here. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, looks like there's a bunch of other cool templates. But right down here is the project file. I can download this and get everything straight from within the software. I never have to leave it. And again, this is also available for Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a really cool plugin. Works really well. I did a standalone tutorial showing you how to use this plugin. So I'll link to that in the video description as well. And I'm going to go ahead and close this because I actually already have the project open. So let's take a closer look at what we got going on here. First, let's look at the actual files real quick. So here I have all the After Effects project files as well as the image files and any other assets. Here we have the fonts that I might need to uh, actually install. Here we have some help files. This is actually a video tutorial here. That's pretty cool. And then down here I have this PDF which shows um, instructions for using After Effects templates from Motion Array. I'm gonna open up my main folder here. This is all nice and neat. It's showing me these three subfolders. Now I'm gonna open up my render comp. So I have all of my icons here and they're all named accordingly. And just below that is the maps folder. Now let me open up one of these maps. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna select world map final comp. Now let's take a look at this animation. Okay, so I have a really cool animated geopolitical map of the world with all these callouts. So let's see what we can do with this animation, how we can make some changes. So I'm gonna go up to the top here. Let's say we wanna change the color scheme. So I'm gonna open up the edit comp folder and we have three subfolders here. We have color, control, and text. So I'm gonna open up color. And here I have the color control comp, which is actually already open when you first launch the project. Okay, so I can see my color palette here, the one that's uh, set by default. And it's showing me right here the colors after I make any changes. What's cool about this is if I want to change it back, I can just um, use the color picker to quickly get all these colors back. So to change the color, I'm going to grab this control layer down here, and then I'm going to go to Window and open up the Effect Controls panel. So now I can see all of the different color options here. So first for this map color scheme, I have three colors. To create a cool color scheme, I'm actually gonna go to Adobe Colors website. This is a really great website where you can explore existing color themes and you can change the different types of color themes. Just go to color.adobe.com and I'm gonna go to Explore. And down here under View, I'm just gonna go pick the most popular color themes. And I'm just gonna grab this first one right here. Now, I can see all the hex code keys right here. I'm just going to click on it to copy it, go back to After Effects, and then I'm going to grab the color picker here and just paste that in. And now, after a few seconds, you can see it update here. So I'm going to go back, grab this next color, paste that here, replace that, and then our third color here will go right here. Okay, so there's my new color scheme for the maps. Now let's take a look at the icons. 
I'm going to turn off the example maps here and I'm going to turn on the icons. And here you can see this is the color of the fill for the icons and the color for the strokes. Right now we're just seeing the stroke, but if I check this, it's going to show us the fill. Now let's see how these colors look. Oof, not really liking that. You know what I can do is just go ahead and color pick this other color. I just want something bright to go over this. Okay, that's looking much better. So let's just go with that. All right, with these color changes in place, I can now open up an individual country map, and you're gonna see that those colors are now applied to all these countries. So here I have France with all these callouts and all the new colors. There are six different data points as well as the name of the capital city. So let's say we wanna make some changes here. So what I can do, I'm gonna go back to the edit comp folder and I'm gonna open up control. And now I can see all the countries here. Now if I scroll down, I'm gonna open up France and let's see what we've got going on here. So now I can see all these other symbols here where these are additional data point callouts. So I can apply up to 19 here. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see there's 19 callouts. And at the top here, I have another controller layer. So now I'm gonna to go to the effect controls panel. And here you can see on off switches or checkboxes for all the different callouts. So the first six are on right now with the rest being off. So if I turn these on, you're gonna see these reflected here. So I can turn all these off except for the capital city. And if I go down here, each callout consists of three different elements. We have the start point position, we have the end position, and then we have the actual text element. And I can move all of these individually. So let's say we wanna move that end position and have it pop out over here. Then I can grab that text element and position it, maybe something like that. And actually, let's just say I wanna show where the airport is. So I'm gonna grab call out one, and I'm gonna just move this one over. So let's see here. Let's grab the text element here and move it somewhere over here the start position right next to Paris, and then the end point, we'll move that right over to here. And then now I wanna change the text. So I'm gonna go back to the project panel, and then we close control, we go over to text, and then we go down to France. Where is France? Here we go, France. Now we wanna change uh, the data of text data one, here we have data one. I'm gonna simply double click and we'll type in CDG for Charles de Gaulle. I'm gonna actually switch this back to bold and make it more center here. Then we're gonna go back to that control layer and see how this looks, because I need to reposition this here. All right, now I'm ready to create my final animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition and call it My France Animation and I'm doing Ultra HD 4K 25 because this is the same uh, setup that these templates are set up as. I'm gonna click OK. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find that uh, final render comp of France. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click and just drag this in. And now to expand this to um, go the whole 10 seconds of this animation, I'm gonna right click on the pre-comp, go to time, enable time remapping. Now I need to make one little tweak here. Go to the final keyframe and actually go one frame in and I'm gonna add another keyframe and then I'm gonna delete this last keyframe. And now I can expand this all the way out to the end. And now I'm gonna go grab my icon. Now, while there are 73 actual map animations, we have 75 different icons. So I'm gonna go grab the airplane icon and I'm gonna simply move this over and scale it down. Okay, so I want that airplane animation to come in a little bit later. So I'm gonna to go to maybe one second and 12 frames here and I'll drag this layer to start right there. Now if I want this to loop seamlessly, I'm gonna to need to do a little bit of tweaking here because since I have an animation in, I can't simply duplicate it and then line it up to play again because we'll see the animation. So since that animation in last about two seconds. I can go two seconds ahead of the head of the layer. So right now it's starting at one second and 12 frames. So I'll just go to three seconds and 12 frames. And now with that layer selected, I go to edit, split layer. 
And then I'm gonna duplicate this part of it and line it up here. So you know what, I really don't know if I like the fill of this icon. So what I can do is I can go back to the color control comp, grab my controller layer, and just deselect that display fill icons. And now when I go back here, now that gets rid of that fill. All right, now let's have a look at the final animation. Okay, so there you have it. That's the 73 maps and geo icons template for Adobe After Effects. Once again, if you want to follow my affiliate link in the video description, you can head over to Motion Array, set up a free account, check it out, see what all they have to offer, and figure out if you want to get a premium account. All right, if you enjoyed the tutorial, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.